So what does BP say? Well, they wouldn't front. But their website tells us they currently operate more than 90 BP Connect stores in New Zealand. They're part, of course, of BP Global, who just had a bumper year with a reported profit figure of 6.2 billion dollars that appears not to have bought them the services of someone who can do a media interview so we went to AA instead and I asked Mark Stockdale who's AA's principal advisor regulations and speaks on petrol pricing for AA what he makes of the striking regional difference in petrol prices as for example you head north from Wellington to Levin. Uh, the AA would say that the key reason for that is the presence of a low cost discount brand that typically operates unmanned service stations. And Gold would be the best example of that, and that's well known. And in Levin, the Gold service station is an unmanned service station. But there are other discount brands, too, that also operate unmanned service stations. And the AA's view has always been that an unmanned service station, which is a much smaller service station, it doesn't have a shop, doesn't employ staff. Our view is that they have lower overheads, and that therefore the price of fuel should be lower to reflect that. And it is. But the converse is that if it's a full service station, a big site, lots of staff, then the price is probably going to be higher. And typically that's true, except where those two competing um, offers, an unmanned and a manned service station, are both operating in the same vicinity. And what you tend to see happen is the, un is the manned service station will choose to match the lower cost um, discount brand. Probably because they know if they don't match the price, everyone will drive half a K down the road to the, to the other brand. And they don't want to lose sales, so they compete on price. That's good for the consumer in that area. But those big brands with manned service stations, they probably can't afford to match that price because they can't match those lower costs. So they end up charging a higher price across other parts of the network where they don't compete with those unmanned service stations. My understanding was though that the shops can be more profitable than the petrol, that in fact the retailer can make more money on the biscuits or the wine gums or the Coca-Cola or the cigarettes they're selling than they can on the petrol. And, and well, aren't you somewhat no overstating that? Yeah. I mean, we, we, look, our local petrol stations have one and sometimes two people in them earning much, you know, not much more than the minimum wage, I suspect. Isn't this overstating somewhat the cost of running those operations? Well, I think this is the unknown question. So last year, uh, the, the previous government commissioned an independent review into fuel prices and margins, and they, they tried to obtain you know, a lot of uh, confidential detailed information from the fuel companies, including Gull, because you know, they have a different operating model than the big brands, to try and get a handle on, on fuel prices and margins. They couldn't get all the information they needed, so the report was a little bit... Uh, non-committal in the end. This is the sort of thing that we would like to have a better understanding of. It would be really a simple question that the AA would like answered, and that is what is the cost of supplying fuel in, say, an expensive, uh, well, pretty expensive city like Auckland? I mean, it's certainly got very high housing uh, costs. What is the cost of supplying fuel in a, in a city like Auckland in a, in a high-profile um, area with high land costs we're probably the staff wages, while they won't be, you know, huge, they're probably a bit higher than staff wages in, in say, um, Levin. And, and compare it with the cost of supplying fuel. Uh, do, in sorry, do you know any of the staff, or is this just speculative? No, no, I know, we, I, we don't. Yeah. The fuel companies do, well, and we'd like... We'd have you, like have you, asked, the fuel, we'll have you asked the fuel companies these questions? Oh, well, they're not going to give it to us. So have no, you asked them? Have, have, have you asked them? I just wonder, forgive well, me, and I'm not giving you a hard time, because... Yeah. No one doubts that the AA provides a fantastic service, but are you compromised in your ability to do, to do a kind of really effective whistleblowing job here or to speak truth, truth to power or to effectively scrutinise the petrol companies by the fact that you work so closely with them? On your AA website, for example, you're advertising the AA Smart Fuel Card, which offers discounts of six cents a litre at BB. Does that compromise your ability to, do a whist, to, to, to be whistleblower here? Well, not when we're talking about all of the... Uh fuel retail market. So we, we don't have any relationship with Zed uh, or Mobile or um, Gull. And so we, we, we just um, put that aside and say, well, we're looking at the overall retail market. And uh, 
raising concerns as we see them uh, across the retail market and not just one particular brand. So we, we put that aside, and, and the question has to be asked is, well, if we, we did have that relationship, what well, we do, you know, why is it then that some of the other brands that we have no relationship, why are their prices the same? Um, you and know, what's when, the answer to that question? Because that's, that's the key question, is what, why is it that once you get into a region, you cross the lines from the Kapiti into the Horofenua region, the prices yeah. change across the board? And our belief is that that is entirely due to the level of competition in the presence of a low-cost brand with an unmanned service station. That's what we think it's down to, but we don't understand what those costs are and how they differ. Uh, and how much of those costs are due to the additional staff and the size of the shop, or and as you say, or whether in fact they're making all their money on the shop, we, we just don't know that. No one, no one does except the industry. But more transparency around um, how they determine prices in those locations and what the overheads in the lo those locations are um, would certainly help. Uh, that's the AA's Mark Stockdale.